how to build your self-confidence. Hi guys, my name is Lena Semenek, I'm a psychologist and this is my YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness. Welcome! If you're new to my channel, please subscribe right now so you won't miss my new videos. Here on this channel, I teach people just like you about self-esteem, self-love, relationship, money. I share my professional knowledge and my personal stories so you can become happier, healthier and more successful in life. Let's talk about self-esteem. People who struggle with a low self-esteem and self-worthiness usually carry it from their childhood. If you don't believe in yourself, it usually means that your parents did not believe in you when you were little. They did not support you and did not acknowledge your achievements. It means that as a child you did not feel that you are special. Probably your parent or parents criticized you a lot, punished you for small things and treated your successes as nothing special. One of my clients told me that his dad used to say that if you get an A, it means that you are not stupid. So it does not mean that you are smart, it just means that you did your homework, you learned the material and you answered on the test correctly. Anything below an A means that you are lazy or stupid. The goal of my video is not to blame your parents, but to show you where your low self-confidence is coming from, so you can be compassionate towards yourself and heal yourself. Today I will share with you 7 tips that will help you to acknowledge your successes and achievements. Uh, 7 tips that will help you to recognize your positive qualities and your unique skills and to accept yourself as a wonderful human being as an, and as a result to gain your self-confidence and boost your self-esteem. Before I share my first tip with you, I would like to say thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. If there is something interfering with your happiness or is preventing you from achieving your goals, and for example, I remember vividly, I remember the time in my life when I was in toxic relationships. I knew that uh, my boyfriend did not like me and emotionally abused me. And I was still hoping and trying to save this toxic relationship. Uh, it took me a while to realize uh, that it was detrimental for me and I used a professional help uh, for months to go through this painful and yet healing process. So if you're like me, if you need help to overcome something in your life, then consider checking the link below the video because better help will find a licensed therapist uh, for you and they will match you with a professional person that will help you to work on your situation and you can start communicating within 48 hours uh, better help is not a crisis line it is not self-help it is professional counseling done securely online and uh, the good thing that the service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to a counselor. Plus, you can schedule weekly video and phone sessions. Uh, it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is also available. So I have a special offer for viewers of my channel Psychology of Happiness. You can get 10% off your first month by visiting BetterHelp. That's betterhelp.com slash psychology of happiness. Uh, let's talk about this topic. Seven tips how to build or how to boost your self-confidence. Tip number one is stop comparing yourself to others. The next time you browse Instagram or Facebook, notice what thoughts are running through your mind. If you catch yourself comparing yourself with your friends, just put the phone aside. 
If browsing social media makes you feel negatively about yourself, then either limit the time you spend there or unsubscribe from these people. If you constantly feel that your friends are better than you, then maybe your friendship is not healthy. Uh, we need friends to support each other. We need friends to help each other in difficult situations. We need friends to celebrate each other's victories. So if you feel down every time you hang out with your friends, if you feel down every time you see their uh, Instagram posts or their Facebook images, then maybe it's not about you. Maybe it's about your friends. So tip number two, how to boost uh, your self-confidence is to surround yourself with positive people. Pay attention to what your friends say about you. Do they support you and make you feel good or do they ignore your feelings and mostly talk about themselves? Are they judging you and uh, competing with you or do they accept you for who you are? Uh, this is a simple exercise. Create a list of 10 people with whom you spend 80% of your time. These people influence your self-esteem and your self-confidence the most. So analyze the close circle of your friends and family. Try to remember what their reaction was when you told your friends something about your achievements or your struggles. Were they supportive and understanding? Try to remember their body language and their emotions and their intonation as well. Did they ask you questions? People who really care about us show interest in the conversation and often ask many follow-up questions. Let's move on to the tip number three, how to boost your self-confidence. Create a list of your achievements. Take a blank piece of paper and write down 25 things that you have achieved in your life. At first, you might want to write only big things, but remember, small things do matter. Therefore, bring down your own expectations about yourself and imagine that you are writing not about yourself, but about your best friend. You know this person from their childhood. What good things did they do in their childhood? What good things did they do in their youth or adult life? Write uh, about 25 things, and 25 is the minimum. So, just the only thing is uh, you have to write it down because thinking uh, about it in your mind does not really work. Let's move on to the tip number four acknowledge the positive consequences of your own decisions. Think about what decisions you have made that brought upon a positive result in your life. Number two, what decisions have you made that brought upon a positive result in someone else's life? Number three, think about the last time you did something good for your family members, for your friends, for your co-workers, or perhaps for a stranger in a supermarket. And again, do this exercise in writing. Thinking about it in your head doesn't really help. So the goal is to acknowledge the small, medium and big things that you do for yourself and for others. So that's why I'm asking you to write down uh, in on paper and not to think about it in your head. Tip number five, how to boost your self-confidence and self-esteem. Ask your close friends what three things they really like about you. And this might be a tough tip. You might feel shy to ask this question because you are used to criticizing yourself and thinking, thinking low about yourself. This is exactly why this step is very important. So be brave. You might be surprised about qualities that your friends list about you. Sometimes people can value in us things that we don't really notice or appreciate enough within ourselves. So make sure that you write down things that people say about you. Because when you're gonna feel bad, you can read these things and you can feel good again. You can feel good that you have people who 
truly care about you. And let's do another exercise right now. Just stop the video and write down in the comments, my friends say that I am XYZ. Recognize your good qualities right here, right now. If you don't write them, uh, listening to this video won't make a big difference in your life. I want to know about you. So tell me your name, your country, tell me about yourself. Uh, tell me who you are. What qualities do you like about yourself? So let's do this. Stop the video, write them down in the comments and then unpause the video. I will read your comments. I will reply to you, I promise. So stop it right now and type in the comments about yourself. Okay, tip number six take care of your body. It's hard to feel good about yourself if you are abusing your body, if you don't take care of your health, if you don't care about how you look, if you don't really like your own reflection in the mirror, then it's very difficult to build a healthy self-esteem. So think about how you treat yourself every day in your life. Our body is our best friend. We can't enjoy life if we feel pain. The more we take care of our body, the more confident we feel about ourselves. So treat your body the way you want others to treat you. And finally, tip number seven is to be kind to yourself. Imagine yourself in front of you as a separate person. What expectations do you have about this person? Are they reasonable? Is it okay for this person to make a mistake? Evaluate your goals and see if your goals and your expectations about yourselves are realistic and achievable. And then create three positive affirmations and repeat them seven times a day for the next 21 days. For example, my favorite mantras are, I love and respect myself for who I am. I create healthy boundaries and healthy relationships in my life. I am proud of my achievements and allow myself to be imperfect. What are your favorite affirmations? Let me know in the comments. Your affirmations can really help other people believe in themselves. So please share them with the community of people who are just like you watching this video looking for emotional support and advice. And before uh, I finish this video, I would like to offer a gift to you, a free gift. I would like to send you seven free self-development webinars, seven free guided meditations, and seven free healing exercises that you can do at home when it is convenient for you. Uh, visit my website, elenasemenek.com slash free or click the link below the video and I will send you my healing materials, my healing tools right away, free of charge. If this video was helpful, please click like, subscribe and share it with your friends and family. It really motivates me to create more videos for you. Thank you for watching and check the links in the video description. We'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.